Good morning, my little chickadees. Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, and I'm happy to see you here today. I hope you're having a great day. It's going to be an excellent day. Let's get our time together started with the pledge. That's what we do every time. Stand up. Remember, I'm going to sit down because it's tricky to see me on the camera. But the rule of the pledge is that we always stand up because it's respectful. Right hand on heart. Look at your flag if you have one. Maybe we can make a flag if you don't have one. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Fabulous job, friendies. Have a seat, count me down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so, so much. So we're still talking about the letter K today. Peter Pointer up, tall man up, and Tommy in the middle. Five K sounds, ready? Let's jump right into our book today. Now, this is silly, but not as silly as that book I read yesterday. Who was it? Who picked that book for me to read? Hmm? Hmm? Was it you? Was it you? Too silly. I'm never reading it ever again. Here we go. The title of my book today is Kangaroo Kazoo. I think we're going to see a lot of K words here. This book was written by Wendy Shayette Lewison. That means she's the author. And it was illustrated by Rusty Fletcher. If he was the illustrator, what did he do again? Hmm. He did draw the picture. So let's say thank you to Wendy and Rusty for such a great book. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Rusty. This kangaroo has a red kazoo. She takes it everywhere. How about this guy? What color is his? Do you see it? You're right. Pink. Did you hear the case on at the end? Pink. This kangaroo has a pink kazoo. He plays it at the fair. How about this girl? What color is hers? Yep, it is yellow. This kangaroo has a yellow kazoo. She plays it in the spring. That's the season we're in right now. Sp spring. How about this one? Yep. This kangaroo has a green kazoo. It makes the Katie Dids sing. Remember that word Katie Dids? We saw that. It's like a cricket or grasshopper. We saw that in our book on Monday, our little K, when he filled the box. They were in that book, too. It's blue. This kangaroo has a blue kazoo to play in the deep blue sea. Do you know what a kazoo is? It's a musical instrument that you put in your mouth and you blow into it. Let's pretend we have one. Do, 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 do. Play in my kazoo, play in my kazoo. Mmm. Look at this tree, friendies. Do kazoos grow on trees? No, silly. This, kang this kangaroo has a purple kazoo from the purple kazooka tree. What? I never heard of a kazooka tree before. Yep, it's orange. This kangaroo has an orange kazoo, and now he has a chance to join the best band in the land and play at the kangaroo dance. Oh, look at that, friendies. They made a kangaroo, or they made a kazoo band. They all have k k kerchiefs on. That's like a neck scarf that matched their kazoo color. They play all day, they never stop, while the kangaroo king does the kangaroo hop. Oh my gosh, he's doing a kangaroo dance. Let's do a little hop. You do. Hop, 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 hop. Did you stop? Then the king's kooky kin. Ooh, kin is a fancy big kid word, and it means family. All kick up their heels. They do the kazuki pooky and the kazarama reel. Bleh, that was a tongue twister for me. Are you ready? Let's see what's going on at the dance now. Hmm, what do you think is happening at the dance right now? I see that it's nighttime. What's happening? You're right, they're going home because the king is saying, so long, thanks for coming. Red or yellow, green or orange, purple, pink or blue. You can have all kinds of fun with the kangaroo kazoo. All right, you ready to be a K detective? Get out your magnifying glass. Boop. We're gonna try to find as many K items as we can in my picture. Here we go. Okay, take a look. What do you see? 
What K words do you see? Tell me. Yep, what else? Great job. Did you find the koala and the k, -k king and the k, k katie did and the k, k kite and the k, k kangaroo kazoo kerchief three all right there did i get them all i hope i did okay friendies we're gonna end our book with a k cheer k is for king and kangaroo k is for cattle key and kazoo do, 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 do. do you hear my rhymers too? K is for koala. K is for kite. K is for a kiss good night. Hooray for K, big and small, the kookiest, kickiest ladder of all. Let's do a hip hip hooray for K. Ready? Hip hip hooray K. Hip hip hooray K. Hip hip hooray K. Super job, friendly. Super dee duper job. Here we go. Let's get started with our calendar. Are you ready? Now, yesterday when we played together, we were in the month of mm -mm, March. March is well done. Do you know the new month that we're in today? It starts with the letter A. You say it if you know it. It's April. We're in the month of April. Today is April. Oh. What number is that? It's the easiest one. One, today's April 1st, 2020. Friendies, can we count to one? Easy. Ready? Get your hands ready for slap count counting. This is going to be fast. Here we go. Ready? One. Done. What kind of pattern do you think I'm going to make? What do you think? Okay, that's a good guess. What color do you think will be next tomorrow? Let's make a prediction. Okay. I don't know if you're right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what day it is today. Are you ready? Is it Sunday? Mm -mm. Is it mm -mm, Monday or M word? Mm -mm. Is today Tuesday? No, but that was yesterday. Is today Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what the weather's like at your house, shall we? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Ooh, whoa, whoa, windy. Is it windy? I'm looking at the branches. It's not windy at my house. Snowing at your house? It's not snowing at my house. Is it c c cloudy where you are? Not at my house. Is it sunny? It's sunny today at my house. Is it foggy? I can see okay where I am. Is it er, er, rainy? There's our R weather word. It's not rainy. It's sunny, but a little chilly at my house. It's going to be a sunny day today. Yay! Okay, friendies, let's do our rhymes. Ready? King ring. King ring. King ring. And I put up a color here. Black. Did you hear what's at the end of that? Black. Really nice job. Okay, I have a song to share with you. This time, count me down from 10. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just read a book about our little kangaroo friends. So I have a song for you. Oh, it's slipping. I have a song for you called An Aussie Kangaroo. Aussie short for the word Australia. And that is a continent far, far away where a lot of kangaroos live. This is to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. Are you ready? Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh, I'd hippie and I'd happy inside my mommy's pocky. Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Because kangaroo babies live in their mommy's belly in a little pocket. Isn't that cool? Let's give that a one, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Count me down again. But this time I'm gonna go fast. Count me down from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. I just made it. Okay, grown-ups, I have a game to share with you today to play with your little friendies. This is called Paper Plate Letter Match. Super easy. Grab the paper plates from the pantry and a marker. And you're gonna write a capital letter on one 
and then a lowercase on the other. I do use the same color. It helps the kids with visual discrimination when they're matching, okay? You can do as many pairs as you'd like. Um, I suggest at least six pairs, so you have at least 12. And it's this is just like a memory green, memory green when you or I were little. You're gonna put them like this, down on the floor or wherever you guys are playing, and I'm gonna push that back a little so you can see. There you go. And you're just going to pick a plate and try to make a match. Have the kids say the letter. Oh, I got a capital K. Oh, lowercase b, not a match. Put that back. Capital B, oh, and I remember that that's lowercase, I think. It's a match, okay? So you're gonna match those up. If your child is already pretty proficient with capital and lowercase uh, letter recognition, you can give them a little challenge by saying, okay, now you found B, I want you to tell me five B words and then try to write them out. You can also try to make words. If you're gonna try to do that, I recommend you have to make some vowels. So I did some O's and some A's, okay? So if you wanna do that, you can um, have them make some words like that, you know, bop, whatever, okay? So that's the first game. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna read a book. And I'm gonna see if you can try to figure out what we're talking about in our book. Arr, mateys! What do you think our book tomorrow is about? Pirates, you're right. So we're gonna make a craft today that we're gonna use tomorrow. We're gonna make a, arr, a pirate hook hand. You're gonna need a regular plastic cut. You can do any color you want. Um, a pair of scissors and a pair of, excuse me, not a pair, and a piece of foil. Hey, okay, grown-ups, you're going to rip the foil. Friendies, what shape is our foil? Rectangle, you got it. Have the kids use a ruler to measure. I didn't I didn't measure this, but I'm guessing it's probably six or seven inches across, okay? Talk about that's a rectangle, measure it, and then you're going to roll it long ways like this. Okay, while the kids are rolling that long ways, try to get it pretty tight, friendies, tight roll. You're gonna use a pair of scissors to just poke a hole. Here's a little tip, don't use a knife. Just spread the scissors apart, use one blade, stick it in, and then turn it. Anytime you need to make the hole bigger, just turn the blade, it makes it naturally bigger. So they're gonna roll this up, and then grown-ups are just gonna stick it right through. Make a question mark, okay? And then whatever's left now becomes a handle. Super cute, super cool, super easy, okay? If you wanna try that today. And then our very last craft that we're also going to use for uh, our time together tomorrow, we're gonna to make a pirate patch. Now, there's really fancy ways to do this on Pinterest. So if you wanna be fancy, check that out. Um, I just was easy, I didn't have any black paper, so I just used green because green's my favorite color. Um, and I just cut, you know, kind of like a half a circle. And then I didn't even separate it. I just took the string and I just taped one long strand. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll test this out here. You can just tie it right on. And the kids can draw the skull and crossbones if you would like to show them that. I didn't do that, but arr, mateys, I can't wait for our pirate book. And I'll make you walk the plank, you scallywags. Okay, so. Get that off. So that's going to be, so if you have some time today, work on these two because we're going to use them tomorrow. Okay. A little pick me up for my grown ups because they're working hard. April 1st, carry laughter with you wherever you go. Remember that today, carry some laughter with you today as you go about all your daily doings. Uh, okay, friends, let's do our affirmations. Those are positive things that we tell ourselves. Sometimes I feel sad and that's okay. I just tell myself my positive affirmations and then I feel better. You repeat after me. Are you ready? I am brave. I am kind. I am smart. I am strong. Really nice job, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining us here at Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock.